Without objection, the reading is dispensed with. The gentleman's recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise in support of the motion to recommit a proposal that would actually assist law enforcement in pursuing those individuals who seek to disrupt our elections, as opposed to the partisan bill we've been debating here today. I first want to address some of the accusations made here today about how my colleagues and I on this side of the aisle do not care about election security or how we are the only thing standing in the way of secure elections. This is simply not true. In the 115th Congress, a Republican-controlled Congress appropriated over $400 million to the states and to DHS prior to the 2018 midterms to bolster election security, allowing for unprecedented cooperation between DHS and all 50 states and 1,400 localities. Earlier this year, $33 million was appropriated to DHS to continue these assistance efforts. I also introduced a bill during the debate of the, of the uh, SAFE Act that would provide even more funding for DHS to combat nefarious activity. But last week, I introduced, along with many of my colleagues, the Honest Elections Act, which the entire basis for this motion to recommit is based upon. So don't tell me that we on this side of the aisle are standing in the way. According to the report recently released by the Senate Intel Committee, out of the $1.4 billion spent on digital political ads in the 2016 election cycle, Russia spent $100,000 over two years on Facebook ads. The majority of those were not election ads. So they wouldn't necessarily be regulated by the Honest Ads, portion, Honest ads Act portion of SHIELD. Therefore, not... Spend. Gentlemen's recognized. Let me repeat, the Honest Ads Act portion of SHIELD will not address the real threat that we saw in 2016. My motion today strengthens and reforms the Foreign Agents Registration Act, FARA, to combat election interference. It modernizes online political ad disclosure. It increases monitoring of spending by foreign nationals in elections, and it incentivizes states to prohibit the practice of ballot harvesting and encourages states to stop this recent trend of non-citizen voting. I urge my colleagues to vote for this motion to recommit because I was given some advice by our colleague, Mr. Simpson from Idaho, before we came up here. He said, the more you talk, the fewer votes this MTR will get. So let's make sure everyone goes back to their districts. But first, first, vote for this motion to recommit. Vote to protect our elections from interference from foreign countries like Russia, China, and all others. Vote to hunt down those that attempt to interfere in our elections. And vote, finally, to restore the trust that Americans deserve in our institutions. And I yield back after urging a yes vote on this motion to recommit. Gentlemen, yes back. For what purpose is the gentlelady from California rise? Uh, in opposition to the motion to recommit. Gentlelady is recognized for five minutes. I would just like to say that this motion to recommit should be opposed. It is so much weaker than the bill that we have an opportunity to pass to get foreign interference out of our elections so that millions of Americans are not exposed unwittingly to the ads by the Russian trolls. I would now like to yield the balance of the time to the gentleman from New York, Mr. Rose. Madam Speaker. Gentlemen, House will come to order. Gentlemen's recognized. Madam Speaker, I rise today in strong opposition to this blatant attempt to help foreign agents subvert our democracy. Yeah. We, we stand... <laughs> we stand... The gentleman will suspend. The House will come to order. Madam Speaker, we... The gentleman will suspend. Gentlemen's recognized. We stand at the crossroads of history. Foreign enemies have attacked our elections in a sweeping and systematic fashion, and they're continuing to do so. We are faced today with a very simple question. Should Iran, Russia, and China be allowed to interfere in our elections? Should they have, should they have more of a say in who gets elected than our constituents? No. 
let me tell you my answer. Our soldiers did not fight our enemies overseas just to watch them try and corrupt our democracy here at home. I'm not sure when that became a controversial position, but it's a damn shame that it has. Protecting America should not be a one-party issue. It should be what unites us, not a cause for petty games. But once again, the minority party has decided it is more important to practice the kind of politics that put them in the minority in the first place. Yeah. They have decided yet again. This is spam. House will come to order. They have decided yet the again. The gentleman will suspend. Gentlemen's recognized. They have decided yet again to play yet another political stunt, just like they played this morning in the skiff. It is the same exact thing. That's your choice. My choice is to stand up and say American elections are for Americans only. The SHIELD Act puts forward critical reforms to improve our defenses against foreign influence and interference. The bill strengthens reporting requirements, closes loopholes, and deters illegal foreign activity in our elections. Now, I can understand if some, if some of my colleagues are worried that they cannot win on a fair and level election playing field. But for all those who believe in free and fair elections, who swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution, I urge you to reject this MTR and stand with the United States of America. Thank you. I yield back. back. This is a gentleman.